Hello everybody, I am the Chubby Gourmet. Today we're gonna to be bringing you a simple recipe, simple but delicious. It's from the country of Mali in West Africa. And I believe I'm pronouncing it correctly when I call it Tiga de Gue. And it is basically a chicken stew or chicken soup with some interesting touches that make it just so delicious. Instead of talking about Mali, let's make their national dish. It actually is the official national dish. And just FYI, Senegal has an extremely similar dish. They call it mafe. So it's not just Mali, but also Senegal that these are popular dishes. Let's do it, huh? The first thing that I wanna bring to your attention is there are root vegetables, some potatoes, turnip, and carrots. So what I wanna do first is peel and chop the root vegetables. Actually, I'm gonna peel them first. I'm gonna blanch them for about 20 minutes in boiling water, and then I'm gonna chop them up, and those will be added to the stew later, and when we get to that point. But since we need 20 minutes of boiling water, I'm gonna turn on the flame, peel, and chop those. Give that a good 20 minutes. Soften them up. Now, we're going to put some olive oil in the saute pan. We're gonna brown the chicken, because browning the meat first brings out some of that extra flavor, right? So we're gonna brown that. I'm gonna remove the chicken after I've browned it, and then we do some of our veggies, starting with the onions. So without further ado, we're blanching our root vegetables, heating up a skillet. I'm gonna add some extra virgin olive oil to a hot pan. And the type of chicken that I have here, I've got some drumsticks. I got a little bit of breast meat as well and some wings. Cause I want the flavor. I'm not going for just nice lean chicken breasts. I want a variety so I can get the flavor. So again, I'm just browning this. I'm not trying to cook it through. You can see it starts cooking very quickly in the hot oil. Look, I somehow got food on the walls too. Another thing that's fun about electric is that everything just spins. <laughs> and we'll remove the meat, add the onions. Love the smell of sauteed onions. They're just gonna be sauteed. Then we add the celery, the bell pepper, and the garlic. Add in our bell pepper, add in our celery, and last but not least, the beautiful garlic. I'm gonna add our habanero, our tomato, tomato paste, and four tablespoons, not more, of the peanut butter. And for peanut butter, I'm actually using Jif because I like the added sugar that comes with commercial peanut butter. I think it actually just comes out tasting so much better. Add the stock. Yes. Gotta make sure you stir it up well because you got the tomato paste and you got the peanut butter all glopping around in there. So take your time, not a race. Only spices we're using in this is salt and pepper. I'm going to add the meat back. Starting to simmer, we're gonna cover this and we're gonna heat it for 15 minutes. In the meantime, I'm gonna take my root vegetables, chop them up, they'll be added along with some cabbage and it'll cook for 30 minutes till finished. smell the peanut butter. Yeah. <laughs> what we're gonna do now is add the vegetables with some of the cabbage. Don't have to get too carried away with it. Potatoes, those delicious carrots, the turnip, and I am going to season salt and pepper. And a little bit more because of all the veggies we got in there. And at the very end, I will taste for seasoning after everything is thoroughly cooked. For now, I'm gonna simmer it for about a half an hour. At that point, final seasoning if it needs it, and we are done. Anyone who's used to my cooking knows I'm not a big fan of adding a lot of salt. Just enough to season it and bring out the flavor. That one little habanero we put in there is just enough heat to enhance the dish. Give it another five, six minutes, I think, and we'll dish it. Here we 
have it. Now you would normally, in Mali, I believe they would pair this with couscous. Rice will do just as well, but I did not prepare any starch. I have plenty of starch with the turnip and the potato. So I'm gonna give this sauce a little taste with the bell pepper. So far so good. A little potato, saving the chicken for last. Very hearty meal. Simple, easy to make. You saw that it didn't take a lot of time. And different with the tomato paste and the peanut butter. It's very unique and you got some sweetness from the carrots, from the onions. Very tasty, hearty dish. Simple but effective. Delicious. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Hope you learned something today. If you did, like, subscribe, smash that notification bell. And until next time, hasta lasagna. Thank you.